cup of swine brine for you. <laughs> that is what we yeah. need. Yeah. Disney, make that happen. Make Guardians happen. of the Galaxy ride, you get off, they hand you swine brine, you're good to go. Yeah. Bring it back all year long. We need swine brine. Yeah. If you drink it, you get a free fast pass to the next. <laughs> and I get fast passes all day long. Right? Yeah. This stuff's good. <laughs> geniuses. All of them. All of them are geniuses. Touch it. Lick it. Sniff it. I think I just played a video game. Look, that's the beast punching Deadpool. What? That's the beast punching Deadpool. See? It is. Yeah. It absolutely is. That's quite hilarious. Yep. Oh, lost creation. You guys, Figment locked Buzz in a cage. I don't know if Figment's a good dragon or a bad dragon now. I don't know. Figment might be bad. Figment might be bad. He locked Buzz Lightyear in a cage. <laughs> or Buzz got in trouble for running around naked after he left his suit on Alien Swirling Saucer. Because <laughs> when the children and I are there, that's a big conversation we have. Is Either Buzz is running around naked without his suit... Or, according to Ali and Jordan, he's just a robot head that attaches to the suit. So, I don't know. I haven't seen just a naked like buzz. Yeah. I haven't seen a naked buzz or a buzz head only, so I can't I can't tell which is what, though. Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the bouncing figment. What's part of life? Can't you like your fantasy. Your mind is more than what your eyes see. I made my house. What was broken, switched off or unplugged, um, has been taken care of. Excuses have been made, and we're ready to resume our experiment. <laughs> Your vehicle will begin moving immediately. Please remain safe. Hidden Mickey! Come on, it's time to get back to the Institute. I know a shortcut. We'll message Steve Barry to find out. Do I ask? <laughs> Can you bear? Bourbon style. We're going to Beer Garden. Never been here. I'm going to try it out. It's the caramel shop where there's original. Should be. Should be Werther's flavored popcorn. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it all, but I did get a little bit of everything. So 
All right, let's give it a try. I'll let you know how it is. So, I have to try this worse. It's uh, rumor has it better than I expected. It's the worst salad. It's the worst salad. Well, is it the worst? No, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like no. that. It's good. It's actually pretty good. Got a little bit of spice to it. Nice and tangy. Yeah. It's definitely just sliced hot dogs. But yeah. But good. It's good. Slice Try the hot worst dogs salad. In a, in a nice tangy kind of sauce. That's the thing about a hot dog. It all depends on what you put with it. Mm -hmm. so. Alright, we're gonna go ride Grand Fiesta Tour. Because they're making me ride it. It's the least favorite ride of tall people. <laughs> Man, no climbing. Remember me. No, I have to travel far. Remember me. Hey, it's like a animated cocoa machine. That's cool. That's cool. We'll try and get back to it. Grand Fiesta Tour. I think after this, Matt and I are going to get in line for the Neil Patrick Harris candlelight procession. So, we're going to get to see that. Hi! Why is the Mexican Pavilion always night? Because that's when uh, everyone goes out and yeah, they had a they do all their shopping and stuff. Yeah. yeah, you know they they like work and sleep during the day, and then they come out at night to uh, be social and everything. So that's why it makes sense. The inside of the pavilion, it's always nice. That makes. Guys, enjoying your your dinner. Have dinner. Good dinner. Yeah, is that good? Ooh, wine. Save some for me. <laughs> Here's Tommy. And Sunny, we have hope for the best. Where's Don? Excuse me, you will see the back. I just want to point out, this was my idea. So, Benson has come up with the bad idea of bad ideas, okay? So, we have, uh, from... So, Benson has, in his possession, yeah. what we obtained earlier today, which is a thermos full, full of the Beverly. The Beverly. The Beverly. Now, we are heading into the Norway Pavilion right. to look for the alcohol that they say if you can drink this with a straight face, right. you are a true Viking. Oh, I'm a Viking. I'm going to do it. So, so we reason. thought, why not combine the two? Up it a little bit. So, in the history of bad ideas, we came up with the baddest of the bad. The yeah. Beverly. Yep. Yeah. We're going to do a shot of Aquavi and then a shot of Beverly. Follow it right up. Clean house. And hope the sauerkraut doesn't come back up. Disney News Source on Twitter. All right. Apparently, you can't get Aquavi outside of the restaurant anymore because they were worried about. Drunk people, so we can't do the 
Aqua V Here. Beverly challenge. So we'd have to go into Acre House, Acre, Acre House and get it, but that's not gonna happen, so. Thanks, drunk people. I'm apparently more influential than I even realized I know, myself. Right? But now the biggest question, if we can't do the Aqua V Beverly challenge is, we need to go back that way what the I do with an entire canteen of Beverly now? <laughs> also, we're going the wrong way. Where's Sean? I don't know. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> what do I do with this now? I have a whole bottle of Beverly. I'm not gonna drink that by myself. Him. Yeah, where's Sean when you need him? Sean. Where's Sean, we got a Beverly challenge for you, Sean. All right, so next time everybody's in town, we have to get a reservation at Acre House. Acre House? I don't know how to Acre Juice. That works too. Pork man, I love pork. Great yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> Porgs. I mean, the other we could just ask random people if they would like to try some Beverly. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that's creepy and weird. And you don't have to Excuse me, stranger. Would you Excuse like some me. of the Beverly Excuse out of my me. canteen? Have would you, you like some Beverly? Beverly? Would yeah. you like some Beverly, sir? Sir. I got a canteen sir, of Beverly please, that sir. I can't do it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it to work Sir? and give it to somebody. Yeah, there we go. Like, no, it's oh, just that, totally no, no, water. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Just take it. Introduce somebody to work. Yeah, good point. Good Try point. This. Actually, I got to work with a new, uh, guy that's been training me the last few days. I'll work with him. I'll get him. Be like, here, try this. <laughs> I tried. I tried to invent a new challenge, and they shut me down because of the drunk people. We can't get the Aqua V. I got a milk capped. Beach AT with Himalayan sea salt on top. And she recommended drink it straight, don't like use a straw or anything, and so you can get all the complex flavors. It's really, really good. It's like sweet and salty. It's super great. You gotta try this. It's uh meh. So it's good. What is this guy taking pictures with? It's gotta be videoing the person's neck ahead of him. That's a great question. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, uh, with that, take a breath, we're here, let's do it, let's have some fun, and let's begin. All wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I hope you guys come back. This is a fantastic way to start your holiday season, and I love watching Dr. Sinclair jump around on that podium. <laughs> <laughs> Every son is tucking himself back in. <laughs> <laughs> You're spectacular, sir. Well played. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night here at Epcot, or wherever your evening takes you, and most of all, peace on earth. Good night. Woo!